It's a really interesting company to work for because in the three and a half years I've been here, you could almost say I've worked for three or four different companies because it is, it's a project and projects tend to change and develop and what you do as part of that changes and develops along with that. I suppose the thing that's most interesting about working for Horizon is just that it's a new project and it's new build and a lot of people are really excited about the idea of building nuclear reactors after such a long time. So we've got staff from across the world who are really excited about the idea we get to, we get to build something new. And we've got people who've come out of retirement who are excited about this idea of building something new. I think diversity is incredibly important in any company. We've got people from across the world here. We have a lot of, we have women, we have men, we have all old, young, and you need all those different perspectives because we're building something for the real world. And you don't really understand the real world and what you need unless you've got that real world represented in your company and in your project. It's an interesting question to be asked what it's like being a woman in a male-dominated environment because especially if you're in a discipline like science or engineering, it's not really anything new from you. You've come through university where you've gone through a science degree or an engineering degree which tend to be fairly male-dominated at the moment anyway. But you certainly notice that men and women have different approaches to things. I mean, I think the, the reason we really need gender diversity is so that we get a mix of both of those. I know when I talk to other female colleagues, the thing that strikes us most is if we go to something like a board meeting, that's when you notice that we're really in the minority because you will look up on that stage and you will have that stark visual of seeing a row of men. I think there's always been this perception that maybe certain science subjects and engineering disciplines are boys' subjects. And I personally, I never suffered from that because my mother is an engineer. So it was, I was probably eight or nine before anybody suggested to me the idea that engineers were boys. So the only way things are going to change is to change the idea in people's minds of what a scientist is or what an engineer is and that that definition doesn't have a gender attached to it. You know, science and engineering, they're really exciting things to be involved in. It's an opportunity to be part of changing the world or making it better. And don't think that, you know, your gender or anything else is an op excludes you from that, you know. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I would say get into science and engineering to build something new and be part of developing the world.